Hello everybody, it's Kim here. I am going to talk through today how I made this delicious keto breakfast pizza. I'm going to be posting the recipe for the pizza crust and um, the cheese sauce as well. So I'm not going to go through exact measurements with you guys, but I am going to talk through what I did in the process. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this pizza recipe, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much. And let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I started to cook the bacon just because it typically takes the longest of everything in this recipe. Um, now, by all means, you could throw it in the oven if you wanted. Um, but because I was baking the pizza crust and I like my bacon to cook at a higher temperature in the oven because I like it crispy. It just wouldn't have worked out. And uh, so, yes, so I just took it to the stovetop and I cooked it until it was really crispy so that it would be easy to crumble for the topping for the pizza. So while the bacon was cooking, I got started on the pizza crust. This is a fathead pizza crust. And so the first step is to add some almond flour and then you add some mozzarella cheese. Um, it's important to get the shredded kind from the store, not fresh. That makes a big difference. And then after the shredded cheese, the shredded mozzarella cheese goes in, you put on some um, of the shredded Parmesan. Again, you don't want to use the grated kind in that green can. You want to get the freshly grated um, Parmesan cheese. The next step is adding a little bit of cream cheese. You want to break it apart and put it directly on top. And then you're going to take the bowl and you're going to put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half and then stir it all together. Next, you'll add an egg to the mixture and you're going to want to really stir that again to make sure that everything is evenly incorporated. So here I am, mix and mix and mix and so now you're going to want to place the dough mixture on some parchment paper and then put another piece of parchment paper on top. I always like to kind of stamp it down um, and shape it first and then I'll go in with a rolling pin. I just always feel like that's the easiest way to go about it. Um, and you actually want to be careful. I actually made this little too thin on the edges and it will kind of cook up pretty fast um, and kind of burn the edges. So just be careful of that. You don't want it really, really, really thin, but you definitely don't want it too thick. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. I've made this pizza dough a bunch of times, and I've kind of gotten it down, and you will too. So then you're going to take that bottom parchment paper with the dough on it, and you're just going to stick it right into the oven and set a timer for 10 minutes. So when the pizza crust was baking, I got started on the cheese sauce, which was going to be the base for the pizza. So you want to put in the butter and wait until it's fully melted. And once it's melted, then you're going to go ahead and add some cream cheese to the mixture. And you're going to want to just keep stirring and stirring until that cream cheese is fully incorporated. It can take some time, but you just have to be patient with it and keep stirring and waiting for it to all come together. And once I got that cream cheese to be mostly incorporated, I went ahead and added some heavy whipping cream. And then you're going to want to stir that all together as well. The very last part of this sauce mixture is to add in some sharp cheddar cheese or whichever cheese you want to use. And again, mix it until everything is nice and saucy. So now that we've got the pizza crust in the oven, the bacon's done, and the sauce is made, I got started on making some scrambled eggs. Now the key here is that you want to cook the scrambled eggs just so they're a little bit wet. You don't want them to be already dry because you're going to bake this pizza and there's nothing like having tough, dried out eggs on top of a pizza when you've worked so hard <laughs> to make something so delicious. So take your time with this. I have some tips about scrambled eggs that I kind of want to post a video about. Give me your guys' opinions because I feel like I've been making scrambled eggs for years and years and I've kind of 
figured out the best way to make them. They always come out super, super fluffy and delicious. So uh, one of my tricks is always to add a lot of butter to the pan, which is what I did in the beginning. And right here you'll see that I whisk them and I like to use heavy whipping cream in them because I feel like it just makes them that much more fluffy and yummy. So poured the eggs into the pan and like I said, I just cooked them scrambled until they were just barely cooked. So once that was done, the pizza came out and you want to flip over the crust. This ensures that it is crispy, and like I said in the beginning, you can see the very ends, I rolled out just a little bit too thin, so um, luckily with this dough, it's kind of foolproof that it doesn't taste burnt. It actually just tastes like yummy, cheesy crust goodness, but um, just be careful when you're rolling out the edges. So I poured the sauce on first, and my husband was laughing at me the whole time. He did not understand why I was using a spatula, and... Uh, the reason is that this sauce is actually quite thick, and for some reason, spatula for me, it just just works easy. It's like the perfect way to ice a cake, but you're icing a pizza crust. So you're going to want to put the cheese sauce on first, and then after that, you're going to want to go ahead and grab your scrambled eggs that you just cooked and pour those suckers on top too. So I believe I used five eggs on this recipe. Um, I think you could get away with six eggs too, but um, you're going to want to take the eggs and really just try to divide them out on the crust and um, spread them out evenly. Then you can top it with your favorite type of cheese. Again, I use sharp cheddar. Um, that's kind of one of my favorite go-tos for this pizza specifically. So I just took some shredded cheddar cheese, sprinkled that on top, and then you get to add your favorite toppings. For me, on this specific day, I decided to go with one of my all-time favorites, bacon. So we took all that bacon that we cr cooked and crumbled and... Um, <laughs> I actually enjoy cutting my bacon up with kitchen scissors, and I've always done that. And again, that's something that my husband and other people have given me looks for, but I swear, try it. It is a lot less messy than sitting there and crumbling it up with your hands. And I don't know, I get to be more precise. The bacon lands where I wanted it to. But besides the fact of my weird scissor cutting bacon. Um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. What I ended up doing was putting it back into the oven, baking it for an additional 7-8 minutes until everything was all melted and this is what it came out and let me tell you it was delicious and we ate it for three mornings in a row. <laughs> so thanks a lot guys and again don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Bye.